Well, a warm welcome, one and all, on what has been a horrendous, a wet, wet evening. Thankfully, this rain has been deemed to be within reasonable limits. And after an inspection and all the regular formalities, the teams were handed in on time and the all-important go-ahead was given. Bit of disruption, of course, for those travelling in the direction of the ground. The crowds have taken... And Messi! And the keeper passes the test. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Pepe. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Nicolas Otamendi. He's a, a fine defender, both in the air and on the ground, and a, a real tough competitor who, who loves a physical duel. He knows how to pick out a pass too, and he'd be looking to get his team moving forward as soon as any opposition attack breaks down. He often likes to step into midfield. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Taliafico unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Bernardo Silva. And that's been levered clear. And they can counter here. No, that's been intercepted. Martinez. Now it's to Paul. Look, it's a, it's a run defences dislike, but the timing has to be spot on. Out of play for a throw. Not the most accurate pass. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. He is through here. Martinez! Another save. Martinez clearly thought he'd done enough. The save was like a bolt from the blue. And it's been taken short. And now they can spring out of defence. Messi. Well, the defence proved infallible then, but that won't be the last they'll see of him. Not the most convincing of passes. DePaul. And here's Messi. And here's Di Maria. Now it's McAllister. Well read. And the danger is averted. Cristiano Ronaldo. Romero. Oh, they could be caught out here. Can he get away here? Schwab Felix! Goal! Portugal! And Portugal score first. Portugal clearly executed that with considerable confidence. It only took seconds to score once the ball was recovered. The goal score for Portugal after 25 minutes is number 11. Yo, Portugal break the deadlock and that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on genuine physical edge about this game it is quite attritional and he cuts out the supply aimed beyond the defence Look at the space here. Martinez. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. Oh, that's well spotted. A real chance to break. Bruno Fernandes. Bernardo Silva. 
but not climbs up big and that's caused a worry or two yeah it's good movement though a bit unlucky he couldn't actually steer it goalwards Martinez clears Otamendi calmly anticipates McAllister it's gone out for a throw in De Paul spread out to the left. He's in plenty of space here. Massive leap. Well, he certainly wasn't in the mood to take any risks. That's a great hit. Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Well, he's furious with himself, but at least the boss is applauding his effort then. Stood up well to him there. And it's Messi. Pepe has given away a free kick. Oh, he's taken it. McAllister. And he's had it nicked away. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Decent hit from there. Gently done. Now it's Messi. And he's surging through. Shot a goal! He scored! They have grabbed themselves an equaliser! That looks like a preconceived plan. Win the ball and then unleash. The goal scorer for Argentina after 43 minutes is number seven, Rodrigo de Pau. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides and with such great individual talent on show, it could go either way. Oh, that looks a cracking ball. McAllister. Can he finish? Oh, the ball's come loose here. Nice ball and he's in here. And they're back on the ball again. Nice ball. Decent hit! No messing about, just bludgeoned away. And they'll start all over again with the goalkeeper. And that'll be the final action of the first half. So half-time, and it is all square. Neither able to pull away from the other, but that is not due to any shortage of effort on either side. It's a goodish game, this, and at half-time, it's one each. Please welcome everyone. Our Portugal last. head into the dressing room after a half in which we've seen two goals, one each, and the game right on edge. Argentina get the ball rolling in the second half. No changes at half time that we're aware of. Argentina have a free kick. Over to the left. Now it's McAllister. Nice interception. His positioning was spot on. Now it's Joao Felix. Interesting ball. Now it's Joao Felix. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort.
And that has earned a reprieve for the time being. Argentina can counter promptly here. Di Maria. Romero. And it's Otamendi. Portugal finding their passes. Well, he got rid because he was under pressure. Could move up a gear here. Now that's well seen too. Now it's Martinez. Passes coming off in quick succession here. Now the ball's gone astray. Well-timed, excellent interception. And the counter is on. Now the counter. Threads one in, and he was quick to react. And the defence can get it clear. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Otamendi. De Paul, who's made his mark on this game. Forwards and with intent. Romero promptly onto that, and that is that. Whatever happens, that's the kind of movement which raises hope. And he's there to clear it. It's a good run down the left-hand side. Well, that's been cut out, well played. Gets his pass away. It's a great Messi! It's loose and there's a race for the ball. And again! Substitution. Time then for the first substitution of the game. And it's hoisted clear. Portugal can start a counter here. He's got the shot away! Goal! Argentina! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! Yeah, great movement and great use of space to get on the end of the pass, and that pretty much did it. Goal scorer for Argentina. And when the manager After called on him, minutes, he was only too happy to repay that faith. Nine. I think the manager's claiming an assist here. So we have a breakthrough. Now how will things develop from here? Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. They're coming again and again. You know, the interest value in this game might just take off from here. Chance to break. And that's gone loose. Hit it, towering header! Smashing delivery, just didn't do enough with it. Yeah, that was really sharp. That kind of delivery can play havoc with defences. Substitution in progress. Argentina making consecutive changes here. Not the best distribution from the keeper. Well, that pass isn't the best. Portugal really are showing all the necessary urgency, but it's potency they need. Molina has a look inside the box. That is good strength. Argentina surely have to be commended for their drive and desire. Most teams would be taking the easier defensive route by now. Taliafico. Acuna. He's looking to set free a runner.
Now it's Bernardo Silva. Oh, not quite. Montiel, out to the right. Well, it's a move of great promise, but will it really prove productive? Nice bit of trickery. Lovely feet. That's gone for a throw-in. Substitution for Portugal. Number 11, João Felix. Away from immediate danger. Number 6, number 8, Bruno Fernandes. Number 15, Rafael Leão. Oh, what's he done? Coming Shapes to field. shoot! Oh, taken with style! We thought it was over! It's all square once more! Terrible error, duly punished. The goal scorer for Portugal after 90 minutes is number nine. So all square with almost no time remaining. Well, those players out there must be exhausted now, Peter, but at least they have momentum, which all goes well if this goes to extra time. And no, that was never going to make it. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Oh, nicely intercepted. Moved forward and quickly so. Molina. Ronaldo receives it in. 90 minutes up and we will be back for extra time. Well, look, this has been a, a hard-fought encounter, Peter, so mistakes are far more likely over the next 30 minutes. Please be made aware so a short respite for the players as they prepare themselves for another 30 minutes. Substitution. So our quest to find the winner continues. Portugal displayed great resilience to find the late equaliser that's got them here. Now can they go one better? William Carvalho. Lo Celso. Looking for the runner. Dybala. A good ball and this looks promising. João Cancelo is there to clear. Well, they've got it again. And here's Dybala. He was under real pressure there. Plays the ball back. Molina. And it's Dybala. He's got away. Oh, it's great defensive work. It doesn't take too much imagination to guess what would have happened otherwise. Well, I appreciate the fact he's trying to make a difference, and if he carries on like that, he may well do. That's a good ball played into space. Los Celso is there, and he can pick it up. Fiddles it through. Alvarez. Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. Taliafico played in. Defending of the desperate variety. Acuna plays it short. And that's been drilled in. Extra time reaches half time. If you do have a chance today, 
Yeah, 90 minutes long gone, 15 of an extra 30 have also gone, and the search for a winner is still on. Truly, this is a punishing game on bodies and heads and minds. The outstanding question, the only question. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, yes, it's there! Late in the day, this could well be it! Well, we've seen the hunger to win it back and the focus to make it count. A very tasty combination. The goal scorer for Portugal, after 17 minutes in extra time, is number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Well, I think you can write this lot off at your peril. It's been a joy to watch them hold themselves right back into it. Now, can they hang on? Pepe cuts it out. Ronaldo might just make this. And it's Bernardo Silva. Lo Celso. Dybala. Passing is crisp and sharp. Well, that looks a decent ball. And that was very necessary. Gonzalo Ramos. He's left his man. He's going all the way. Now here's the delivery. That's a decent clearance. Palacios did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Played into space out wide. I thought it was going to happen then. How many more chances can they realistically expect now? Time for a change in personnel. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Portugal need to hold on for a few more moments. Portugal probably could have killed things off, but they should be okay here. There will be one minute at a time. Palacios. Good spot, he's seen the run. Added time is up. And there goes the whistle. What a match, what a comeback. That is how to respond to adversity. Truly deserving winners. Cristiano Ronaldo taking in the accolades, having been named man of the match, and deservedly so. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? It was a win that can be put down to left-sided sharpness. There was some tremendous football played on that wing, and a striker's dream to see so many crosses of good quality enter the box. And I just really liked what I saw here. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.